Hey, this is Alex Power with My Creative Cinema. In today's tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to create a countdown clock to put this time code inside your video in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Stay with me, we'll be right back. On my channel, I create different reviews and tutorials for beginner filmmakers just like you. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing that you won't miss any of the future episodes that I release on a regular basis. Let's get started with the countdown. Welcome to the time code tutorial. Let's get started. Let's say you have a clip that you want to put this time code on. So first, why would you want to put this time code on your clip? There's a several reasons. First one might be when you're delivering a rough cut of your footage to the customers. You want it to have some reference for the time and uh, for the frames because this particular time code will have hours, will have minutes, will have seconds and the last thing on the right will be a frames. So when your customers want to fix something that would be easy reference for them to tell where and what particular frame they want to change. Okay, the second reason why you need this time code, you might be you're doing something on your video that you need that for displaying purposes. You can create very big, let's say you have some challenges, you know, you, you say, okay, I'm gonna eat this bowl of noodles in two minutes. And you just start this clock and then that, that's really cool. Um, that's really useful feature then. Let me show how easy can you put this on your clip. All you need to do is to type into the facts here, time code, and that's right here, time code. You take this and drop into your footage, and then here it appears. The problem with this one, because if it will appear here, what if you have another clip? So what then you do? You know, if you put this one on top of this one, it's gonna disappear here and if you will try to put another one here it will be a different time code it will start from zero again here so that's not convenient so um, creating a layer adjustment layer not gonna help much so what do we do we go to the to our bin here project bin we right click on the mouse and we are go into the new item and we create transparent video. It, it matches the sequence size, create that transparent video and we put on top of everything here. Obviously it's not gonna affect anything because it's transparent, you can't see much. So let's remove the time code from this one and let's put this time code right now, right on the transparent video. So we'll go back to the effect tab and we will put in time code and we'll grab this time code and we'll put right on the transparent video now when you start here it will be for the entire length of the clip no matter how many clips you will add as long as it's under the transparent video that will be your thing uh, this little thing on the right here it's for the fill use i don't think i really need that one so what I'm going to do, I will highlight the transparent video and I will go to the field symbol here and I will just uncheck that and it will disappear. Now you've paid attention that it starts for some reason from 59 minutes right here and it should be all zero in the beginning. What do we do here? It goes with the media and then we will need to change the media to January and it will be all zero in the uh, beginning of the clip right now as we go as we progress it will go and count the seconds minutes and hours and the frames so this one goes for uh, hours this one goes for minutes this one seconds and this one is the frames really really usable I would like to make this one a little bigger if I'm using a promotional video or some sort of a challenge, food challenge or any other challenge you do, you want to do the countdown here, that's a perfect solution. So let's see, let's make it larger right here. On the size it's 15%, we can make it larger and we can change the opacity right here all the way to black if we need to, really to pop up. 
Okay, let's move this right to the middle and let's get started. See it, how cool it is. If we just wanted to make it smaller, you can just always change the size to like around like 10 maybe or something, or even a little bigger like 12 and put this right in the corner somewhere that will be like for your customer. It will be right in the corner here and you it will start from zero again boom and then it goes like you know your transparency you can change also yeah not to look this offensive on your video so when you deliver this to the customer you just say hey um there's in the left corner there is a countdown here please make a note on exactly uh, put exact number where you wanted to make it changes and then they will trade this notes and then you'll be able to um, go back to your rough edit and um, uh, change this based on the uh, values that they input there so that's super convenient so yeah that's two different reasons why I do that and don't forget to put the transparent video on top and as I've mentioned you can put so many clips under that you can do the entire edit and put this right on top and that would be it on how to put the time code or countdown clock on your video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments below if this tutorial was helpful for you and tell me which other topics would you like me to cover in the future episodes. See you next time.